The following is a live LV Rocks original webcast. Visit LVRocks.com for studio cam and live chat room. Knowledge is power, and this is powerful stuff. Wellness Education Cannabis Advocates of Nevada present the Weekend 702 Nevada Cannabis News Hour with the Weekend Radio Team. For the next 60 minutes, we'll take an in-depth look at the cannabis reform revolution sweeping the nation. Now, let's fire up the news hour. Here is the Weekend Radio Team. Welcome to the show, the uh, weekend uh, Nevada Cannabis News Hour on LVRocksRadio.com. I am Kurt Ducott, your host. I have with me in the studio today Perry Heitchu and William Beach Baker. And today our guest is Jacob Silverstein from uh, Las Vegas Relief and Silver State Wellness. So, how you doing? Doing well. How you guys doing? Mm, great, good, great good, to have you here. So. Have you. Glad to be here. A little bit about us. Uh, We're new here on this station. This is our first show on LV Rocks. Uh, We're a federal nonprofit for cannabis education. That's right. I said cannabis. We're talking today about pot. (laughs) <laughs> so legal pot yeah legal pot exactly. and, and what's Medical going on world. what's going on in the industry and uh what's going on in nevada and all around the world is what we talk about uh we educate people on the safe use of cannabis and we raise money for patients in nevada who can't afford to get their medical marijuana cards so what we do this to raise money to help people that are in tough spots so that they can use this medicine safely mm-hmm. and educate people on the use of this medicine so uh, we hope you can all get behind that, and we hope that we get lots of new listeners from you guys. So we're very happy to be here. Yes, we, we are. are. So we've so. actually been at this for quite a long time. Uh, casually, we started about ten years ago, and uh, over the years, we developed. Uh, really, kind of eight years ago, we launched, and we tried a different uh, format and uh, safe access format and uh, normal. And we tried to affiliate with everybody, but then we decided to go on our own and form a nonprofit, a federal nonprofit. And uh, we went to the legislature, and next thing, it, the rest is all history. The laws have changed because of a small little group like us yep. and thousands of patients like you. So we want to thank you. And if you're not a patient, let's get legal. Let's run this ball from here to heaven. Yep. And uh, what a lot of people don't really even know is uh, we started out as a chapter of American Safe ASA, yes, Americans for did. Safe That's Access. That was our first, first choice, you guys. <coughs> but yeah. we decided to go our own way, and uh, we're weekend. Yep. Wellness, Education, Cannabis, Advocates of Nevada. Yep. And, if you want, and if you want to find out more about us, I mean, you search We Can 702. That's what we are. We, are, we have our website as We Can 702. We have a meetup. So if you want to find out what's going on in Nevada and find out all the great mm-hmm. events happening, join us on Meetup. Our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything. YouTube, Google, just search We Can 702, and that's us. Right. So. Thank you, Kurt. Yep. <laughs> All right. So. <clears throat> Just to tell you a little bit about Kurt. Kurt's our anchor. He's our lead anchor. And we actually have six people on the radio team that will rotate. And um, and uh, he's going to lead us into our, our, our segments every week. But we also um, have Perry. Perry is uh, kind of our Western States Division. He's, a, he's uh, from Alaska and originally, but he's been down here so long that we, he's in Nevada now. And... Um, so uh, we kind of, uh, Perry comes up with some incredible stuff from way up north, and I'm sure he's going to have some fun stuff for us today. Um, uh, Mike McAuliffe, who is our political director, he's not here this week. I'm the, I'm the producer of the show, William Beach Baker, and I'm not always behind the mic, so I'll be filling in this week. And next week, Mike will be behind the mic with a special guest, uh, Paul Aisley, a, uh, a former state representative and very active in Nevada politics. And so we're going to have some incredible guests, and who knows, we may even have the president or some NBA star or, or whatever in the future. So uh, stay tuned. We just wanted to tell you a little bit about us, and we're going to tell you a lot more in the days to come. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah, and today we have Jacob here from uh, Las Vegas Relief and Silver State Wellness. Um, they're sponsoring an event we're doing this weekend. 
our our uh, 416 event. So uh, so we have them on today, and they're going to talk a little bit about what what you guys got going. You guys got some specials coming up here uh, for 420, so that people can stock up and then come to our event on Saturday. Exactly <laughs> right. Uh, well, guys, I just want to say thank you again so much for having me. Uh, just to let everyone at home know, again, I'm Jacob Silverstein. I'm the marketing director for both Las Vegas Relief and Silver State Wellness, which is our cultivation and production facility. Las Vegas Relief is over on Sahara and Paradise, uh, in the city of Las Vegas, so we're pretty centrally located. Uh, but yeah, one of the things that we're really proud of is our partnership with WeCan. Uh, WeCan does an incredible amount of good in the patient community. Their advocacy is one of the reasons that our uh, dispensary and cultivation are even able to be uh, up and running. Uh, their advocacy has been has been very real in a very long time. So uh, we really appreciate all the efforts that you guys do, uh, and we're happy to sponsor on the patient event. Uh, and uh, Kurt, as you're saying, the event is this Saturday. Um, the 16th uh, we're really 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 excited um, and again that's going to be an event uh, hosted by Silver State Wellness uh, and We Can. It's for the patients, uh, being held by patients, and it's out in Boulder City, actually, mm -hmm. uh, at uh, this beautiful, beautiful home of actually one of the owners of uh, one of Las, of Las Vegas Relief, uh, the Jameson family. They're incredibly generous uh, and have uh, donated their beautiful home for this event, and we're really excited uh, to be able to host all the patients that are going to be there. Um, they have uh, plenty of space, and we're just excited for uh, to kind of teach people about um, you know what we're what we'll have to offer yeah and uh, there's gonna be there's gonna be lots of dispensaries production people there's gonna be some labs there um, we have local vendors we have some uh, local glass blowers that are gonna be there uh, doing their wares we have one of the best tie-dye companies in in the state uh, uh, jammin on Main is gonna be there selling some tie-dyes so you can get all your tie-dye needs and just just a whole lot of fun the property is just incredible it's uh almost three acres and and last time we d we did our halloween event there in october and we had close to 250 people there and the property almost looked empty because <laughs> it's so big it's like yeah. it's like you, you were they were so scattered everywhere you, you, there was no like real concentration of people and yeah. it, it was it was it was incredible and that party there as a as an event promoter as i was leaving i was just filled with joy because i heard on the way out from so many people saying this was the best event that they'd ever been to and i heard that from at least 15 20 people on the way out of the door so to have that happen that's great um this one is going to be better <laughs> exactly right you know we're really excited it's going to be just a tremendous tremendous amount of fun um yeah. like kurt said it's it's yeah. the emphasis is going to be on fun um and safe legal fun oh yeah yeah Absolutely. exactly and uh, we have plenty of staff people um the only sad uh, perry can tell us a little more about how the place is laid out i'll leave that to him but uh, the only sad thing about it folks and i gotta tell you it's not the most handicap friendly place yeah so okay. that's true you patients um, that have a hard time getting around or if you need a wheelchair are we're sorry but this event probably is not the event for you right if you have a cane or a walker or something like that, uh, you, you're going to be okay. You're just not going to be able to go to every level, let's say. Right. Yeah. Tell us about that, so Barry. You just basically explained it. It's very multi-tiered. There's a lot of spiral staircases and, yeah. and things like that. So, mm -hmm. you know, just be careful when you're, right. when you're yeah, around. Yeah, the, the property's there. built on a hill, uh, and that's where the garden is. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of steps and things like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. No doubt. But what an incredible piece of property because, it, I mean, my goodness gracious, they have party rooms and places and views well, over the lake and i'm gonna tell you something in nevada an unusual thing to see is a big blue body of water mm -hmm. <laughs> and this yeah, is the a uh, one million acre lake a hundred miles long called lake mead and it's right at the front door exactly right uh so, when you're out in the garden uh on the hill you can actually look down in the lake it's right. really really stunning right. and uh again we're really excited to be able yes. to host the event um and uh, as kurt mentioned there's actually a whole slew of specials we have at our dispensary well let's um, hear about some of that yeah I <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, so actually, for, uh, for 420, uh, which is next week, we couldn't be more excited, Las Vegas Relief is actually doing a very special promotion that we're calling 10 Days of 420. So it's going to run from the 15th, which is this Friday, the day before the party. Uh, it's going to run from this Friday, the 15th, to uh, the um, 
following Sunday, so April 24th. Um, and so we're going to do 10 full days of these sales, and we just could not be more excited. Uh, so with that, I'll launch into what some of our specials will be. Uh, we're excited to have eight gram quarters. So any purchase of a quarter uh, will get you a gram uh, for a penny. We're in the city. We're not allowed to give away um, product for free. Uh, right. So we have to charge some type of nominal amount, um, but we'll be able to do that for our patients. Does it have to be of the same strain, or can I pick and choose something else? Nope. Uh, so long as the strain is within the same pricing tier okay. that there shouldn't be any issue um, and so we're really really excited about mm -hmm. that uh, it'll allow patients to get some of their favorites as well as try something new yes. mm -hmm. and again what's great is that this is going to be running for 10 full days so if you like something you can always come back there's there you, you don't have to worry about a long line one day not um, not you know prohibiting you from from taking advantage of our sales so we're really excited yeah, to be able to offer that we're also going to have uh, multiple uh, multiple strains over 30 percent in THC so we're going to have true OG and head cheese from Polaris growers we're really excited about that as well as some 35 percent grape stomper from deep roots 35 35 percent that is outrageous you know when I was younger I remember most of the hash I was smoking wasn't wasn't testing really at 35 45 percent and now it's just like this is incredible not are, only, are you guys getting concentrates out of these or expecting concentrates out of these anytime soon well not i i don't know necessarily about this grape stomper specifically mm -hmm. but we have a whole selection of concentrates mm -hmm. that are all mm -hmm. testing above 80 90 wow. percent and when you look at the lab results right mm -hmm. one of the best things is that when it comes to residual particles mm -hmm. uh we're seeing test results that are saying zero right so we're looking at things like uh butane hash oil right people are getting a little nervous maybe about mm -hmm. uh the butane the residual butane well all of our products that we're carrying in house right now are testing at zero parts per million uh the legal limit i believe is about 500 parts per million so mm -hmm. we're way below the legal th threshold which is fantastic we're really excited to be able to offer such high quality clean products mm -hmm. um and actually and so those those deals uh, are really exciting, but one of the things that we're really excited to announce is our Gorilla Glue from our friends over at Silver Sage Wellness. Is that like crazy glue? I mean, what is it? Uh, what so Gorilla <laughs> Glue is actually a uh, it's a uh, it's a hybrid strain uh, okay. that has won multiple cannabis cups out of uh, Colorado, Michigan, and Los Angeles. Uh, so it's really a incredibly well known strain. Um, it's very very resinous and sticky. It has a very piney aroma that people are just going to go crazy for. And I'll tell you the cut that Silver mm. Sage Wellness is, uh, has grown for us is really just second to none what's even better than that is it's testing at 29 percent thc oh. for those at home who aren't necessarily sure or maybe not used to the testing standards one you should know that nevada has the highest testing standards in the country right. um two most strains to be above 23 22 percent is very very significant to be able to have s multiple strains above 30 percent is is nearly unheard of. Mm -hmm. So the Gorilla Glue, it's testing at 29%, one of the highest strains available in the valley, and we're actually offering that for $39 an eighth and $13 a gram. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's price breaks along with that in terms of quarter, half an ounce. Uh, and fantastic. that same deal applies to our eight gram bags. So come in, get some Gorilla Glue, uh, some of the highest quality product you can find, some of the best pricing you can find. Mm -hmm. So that's now those deals, that's just our flower. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I want to hear about the any other edibles or any other things that as old folks like that don't always smoke. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so one of the things that we're really, really finding is people love uh, to take advantage of vaporization. Uh, it's mm, a little yeah. more. It's it's considered to be far cleaner than combustion, which absolutely. is generally what you find with flower products. Yeah. And so on that end, we have a, a whole bunch of different fun deals for folks. Uh, we're offering a free vape pen with any gram purchase um, so a lot of folks aren't f necessarily familiar with concentrates wow. they don't know how it works uh, they're not quite sure what to expect one of the ways that we'd like to be able to introduce these types of uh, products to folks is by offering them a titanium uh, vape pen it's disposable um, free with with any gram purchase so if you've never mm -hmm. done a concentrate that's a really easy way to try a few different products uh, at a lower cost to you Fantastic. In addition to that, we're also, uh, for our concentrate friends, um, 
and I should say fans, uh, we're also going to have a uh, two gram sampler. So that means any four half grams are going to go for $120. Uh, this allows you to try a whole, uh, really, uh, you can come into our shop, you can take advantage of this. It's essentially half price. And what you're going to be doing is be able to experience multiple uh, cultivators and, and producers and find also the right, the right strain and manufacturers for you. Um, so that's something we're we're incredibly excited about. Mm. And we're also going to be able to offer a Juju Joint, which is a disposable vape pen, okay. of the Ghost Train Haze strain variety at oh, really? uh, $35 uh, per pen. And those have uh, about a quarter gram of cannabis CO2, CO2 right. oil in them and uh, are very discreet and have a very pleasant taste and draw. Right. It's, it's interesting because I buy those. That was the first thing I bought from you guys. Uh, the first time I had ever been to a dispensary to purchase anything was last Christmas, and I went to you guys, and I bought the Juju Joints. And uh, what I found out was they're so convenient that my elderly senior friends, patients, they just love them. They love mm -hmm. these things. They're so convenient. They can go out somewhere. Nobody notices it. Oh. It's simple. Oh. It, well, they look like a little cigarette. Yeah, yeah. it looks like a candy cigarette. Exactly. Yeah. They're they're very they're very yeah. discreet. They're very uh, the they, fit your hand, they fit in your hand. They fit in your hand. And uh, and like you said, many of our older yeah. patients really really enjoy right. uh, how light it is, but also how effective the right. um, the uh, the intake of the medicine actually is. And, and the idea is, when you're out in public, you don't want to make a, a spectacle. And if you need to medicate for a minute and get a couple pops, yeah, you know, you can do it discreetly. Nobody will be aware. Of it. It's not and offensive. A lot of us older folks That's the worried whole thing. about we that. Just of course, to be like everyone else. You know? yeah. um, I got a question. I noticed a product here that I haven't seen on anyone else's menu before. A Green Life product, 12 gram, big torch joint for 149 dollars. So you what? You guys are rolling up half half ounce joints now and selling them to people? Exactly <laughs> right. So this hey, is a very all, <laughs> uh, what's is it a tobacco <laughs> leaf? Is it a, is it a is it a hemp paper wrap? Is it like a big giant zigzag or like you yeah. know is it a giant crutch? Like what's the story with yep. this? Yeah, so uh so that's exactly right. Uh it is a 12 gram uh what G, what Green Life Productions is calling their big torch. Uh so this is um definitely uh one of those products that they bring to uh, a party like ours. Is more yeah. of a more of a novelty, more of a novelty Novelty items, sure. something that necessarily isn't, isn't necessarily going to be uh, on our shelves uh, throughout yeah. the year. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just it's it's exactly that. It's this is a it's about the size of your forearm, uh, and uh, it's uh, 12 grams. Exactly right, just what's under a half be, ounce. What's it made out of? Is it leaf? Is it is it bud? What strain? You know, is the strain label? We have a variety. Like, is it a house blend? No, or? it's it's not a house blend. We have individual strains. I believe we have purple haze, strawberry cough, and one that is uh, is escaping me. I believe it okay. is a uh, okay. Is so you have a few dominant. different ones I can I can pick from. They're absolutely, cool. absolutely. Mm. Are you going to be offering the gold wrapped? Joints because I believe I, I saw those on your shelf for for New Year's Eve or around that time. The high rollers, the, yeah, well, they're, 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 they're the they're shine papers. papers. Yeah, they were wrapped okay. in the shine papers. Yeah, that were the shine papers. papers. We don't have any. We don't have any uh, any of the shine papers uh, this time around. Okay. Um, but we're really excited about. Well, this is pretty cool though. <laughs> exactly. You know, we're really excited about the the big torch. Uh, we're also excited about the sticky fingers from Alternative Medicine Association. No, what, what are you sticky so, fingers? So these so the sticky fingers. If you've ever seen. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. They essentially look like the jar that the rose is kind of, uh, it's a domed glass oh, yeah. display that has uh, one of the main colas from the, from AMA's harvest. Uh, for those at home who aren't familiar, cola is the main section of bud at the very top of the cannabis plant. Uh, and they've clipped them and dried them in a way so as to present them in a way that you almost don't want to smoke it. But it's <laughs> yeah, one it's of the most more of a piece of art, really. Like, I saw this. I was over there the other day. It's like a big, it's got a real cork at the bottom and a giant glass dome that goes over the whole uh, very elegantly trimmed. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Tip so you can see like all the nugs coming out like for someone who isn't mm. really familiar or overly familiar with how uh, cannabis is grown or how cannabis looks in its natural form before it's harvested and put into a jar. I guess it would be something something cool to have because it really looks uh, like I'm not exactly sure you know how you cure it or something. I like think that, it almost looks it, something it looks closer cool. to like a botanist might yeah. have. Uh, it's you know it's like really a preservation exactly item or something. exactly yeah. like something you might see on the on the shelf of a museum. Okay, yeah. uh, it's, it, they're really beautiful. First Friday Art Festival. Or something, exactly, you know. exactly. Uh, you know, it's really a very un there's some of the more unique items that we have on offer, mm. and uh, those items are 
also unique in the sense that uh, the folks over at Alternative Medicine Association actually hand choose the different colas that they're going to use uh, for these particular cases. And as a result, each case is slightly different in how much it weighs. So the pricing there is going to be a little variable. Mm -hmm. Anyone mm -hmm. that's interested in that, I just encourage you to call us uh, ahead of time or check our menu um, and we'll be able to give you more information on those mm -hmm. products. That's fantastic. These are, and, I see you got moon rocks on the menu also. I've never seen those on, on any menu before. Yeah, so uh, the moon like, rocks are going to be coming later in our 10 days, uh, okay. but we're really very, very excited about that. Well, keep us posted on yeah, that. Yeah, and we're, sure. uh, we're still waiting on lab results. Uh, and again, just to reiterate, we're always, always uh, carrying all lab results for any of the products you grab. So if you're interested, when you come by the shop, just ask for them. We'll be happy yeah. to uh, to give them to you. It right seems like we burned up a little bit more time uh, yeah. than anticipated. I'm sorry, I got wrapped up well, in there, your there guys' was, There was discussion. one more thing I wanted to touch on before we went to, went to break. Um, it looks like you're having a raffle every single day and you get tickets based on how much you spend there so this is really exciting um, we've worked with deep roots uh, to grab some of that 35% THC grape stomper mm -hmm. uh, and one of the things that we'll be doing is uh, be able to um, offer raffle tickets for folks that come through our doors uh, in order to win a half ounce every day so every oh, single wow. day for all 10 days oh. uh, of our 10 days of 420 Las Vegas relief will be offering a half half ounce raffle every single day um so you come on in right. and uh put your tickets in the jar and uh hopefully some of that 35 percent uh grape yeah. stomper will be coming your way no doubt so i've got to figure out how i can come in every day and buy a little something to get in this right? <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> right exactly well any purchase uh any purchase will qualify you for uh for one, the raffle less than 100 cool. you get one ticket exactly and then it goes yeah, up that's a nice there. little price so, exactly and it's in so. and a half ounces we're really excited to be able to offer that okay yep. so all right, that time, uh, it's uh, that time now for us to go into our first break, and we'll be back with some more cannabis news. Originating from Las Vegas, Nevada, you're listening to LV Rocks. Noise from Vegas. Getting Legal offers an informative and simple way for you to get your marijuana card. Why come to Getting Legal to get your marijuana card? We have a 99% approval rating and the lowest price in town. Avoid legal problems. Getting Legal can get you legal fast. Ready for a new start? Come in now and get relief from your chronic conditions affecting your quality of life. Call Getting Legal today at 702-979-9999. That's 702-979-9999. Or visit our website at gettinglegal.com to get your marijuana card today. Hi, I'm Armin Yemenijin, CEO of Essence Dispensaries, and I'd like to let you know a little bit about our company. As a completely complimentary service, our on-site nurse is here to meet with any patient or non-patient to discuss dosing and best practices. We have three convenient locations. We have one location on Tropicana between Decatur and Jones, which is our west side location. Our Henderson location is on the corner of Sunset and Green Valley Parkway, and we're proud to announce that we have the first and only dispensary on the Las Vegas Strip, on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Sahara. Our prices are the lowest prices in town and the highest quality medicine please come and see us at one of our three convenient locations or visit us at essencevegas.com you can also call us at 702-978-7575 once again the number is 702-978-7575 attention medical marijuana patients did you know that your medicine could contain pesticides heavy metals and even mold are you really sure that you're getting the same potency every single time? Well, the answer to that question is simple. Digipath Labs. Digipath Labs is a state-approved laboratory run by scientists. So look for the Digipath Labs quality seal on your next medicine and on the door of your favorite dispensary. To learn more, go to digipathlabs.com. That's D-I-G-I-P-A-T-H labs.com. LV Rocks. Noise from Vegas. Welcome back to the Nevada Cannabis News Hour. I'm Kurt Ducat, your host. Uh, normally at this time, our show used to run between 3 to 4, and we'd come back out and, uh, at around 4.20 here, and we'd do a 4.20 moment, a segment to somebody who's made a difference in the cannabis movement here uh, in Nevada or, or the world. Mm -hmm. um, today we're going to honor Cliff Robinson. So uh, NBA, NBA All-Star Cliff Robinson. Um, he's a veteran and All-Star with the Portland Tra Trailblazers, and he has plenty to be thrilled about lately. Ever since the new news hit, Robinson and a few business partners are going uh, in on a grow operation. 
Oh, so big yeah. surprise! Everyone's on the bandwagon yeah. now. I'm happy to see someone oh, like yeah. taking a yeah. stand. Yeah. Hopefully, such a well. He's a good sport. Well, I think someone like well, how do they put this? Like a prolific athlete of his stature within that uh, industry who didn't really have a bad reputation, but did end up getting right. popped a couple times for smoking. Yeah, exactly. For uh, smoking weed. He was uh, twice suspended during his playing career due to using marijuana. He's lucky so. he didn't lose his job. To tell yeah. you the truth, the way the professional sports uh, mm-hmm. entities usually look at that, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. I just hope that the more professional athletes that come out and support this publicly, the more it'll hope to not only, of course, as he puts in this article, you know, change the stigma, get away from the stoner idea mm-hmm. and things like that, but really to get these professional sports franchises to allow these players to medicate safely, mm-hmm. not only during the off season but during the season, uh, the way they the way they see fit. Yeah, well, you know, especially a, if it's in compliance they, with they, state law. They, they play 82 games, and you know that's that's hard that's on the, that's hard mm-hmm. on the body. I mean, right. I, I I go out there play one game of basketball, and I'm sore. You know, no I mean, doubt. these guys are you doing know, it I, day so, after day after day. I yeah. I almost kind of forget how long their season is because the Warriors are in. Oh, you know, they're the quest for however many it is to beat the Bulls' record, and I'm just sitting there looking. I'm like, damn, they play 80 games a year. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just it, 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 how. Mm-hmm. how how, how do you stay healthy that whole time without mm-hmm. taking you know these and, supplements and, there, and, things and like there's that. a lot of contact in basketball you oh, absolutely know, compared, you know it's not not a full contact sport like football but it's definitely got a heck of a lot more oh, yeah, contact in it than be, than baseball walls, does you know sure. Yeah. sure sure <laughs> yeah, you know absolutely. so so yeah but robinson is hoping to capitalize in the arena with the launch of uncle spliffy <laughs> 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 so that's the name of uh, his thing there uh, Uncle Spliffy is going to focus on the active lifestyle and the people who are out, out there working their bodies and hitting the gym and hitting the trails. So, yeah. so this is this one goes out to you, Mr. Yeah, Robertson. Thank you for uh, supporting medical marijuana and being out there and trying to break that stigma for us. So, no doubt. Thank yep. you. so, all right, we got some local news. Be, I mean, other local news besides our big event coming up on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. that's the biggest news ha- out there right now in Nevada. But uh, we do have a well, we had a new new strain come out here, uh, <laughs> Seeger Bloom Haze. So <laughs> appropriately Bloom named. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So uh, this is a uh, Seeger Bloom Haze is named after Tick Seeger Bloom, who is uh, kind of known as. The godfather of pot out here? Uh, is that in what it ever can call them? Yeah, exactly. Well, you walk into his office and he's got a big flag with a pot leaf hanging on it yeah. in the state legislative office with the door wide open. He doesn't <laughs> He doesn't hide it. He never has. Nope. Yeah. You know, he, he, I mean, I just don't know how else to put it. You know, he's been our, our one banner of, carrier yeah, into the, one into of our the bigger advocates. folds of, uh, mm-hmm. into the hordes of battle against the Republican machine for a long time now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and yeah. he, he also, he also, you know, he took the time to listen to us and put a lot of the things that we said into these bills, you know, because when this first came out in legislature a couple of years ago, uh, the, the, the medical marijuana establishment bill, it was set up as a, as a nonprofit system. You know, they modeled it after Arizona. That's what they were trying to get put into it, which is not the best system. You know, I mean, it, it, it takes two years to get a nonprofit. So you do that, you're you're holding everybody back two years before they can even start to go for the licensing, yeah. except for us. I mean, we, would, we were being handed a golden ticket there, but it wasn't, that wasn't our interest. It wasn't to go into the, into the you know, dispensary game or anything like that. Yeah. Although with the law passing that way, we would have been one of the first people to market. Um, but we went up there and we spoke with them and said, you know, this this isn't the best way to go about this. It's because mm-hmm. when you force a company to operate as a nonprofit that everybody knows, including the federal government, is a for-profit industry, it's just going to bring the tax man down on you. The federal government's going to yeah. say, wait a minute, where's our share? Right. And that's where they come in and they shut you down. Mm-hmm. Um, as a for-profit industry, these MMEs are all paying taxes. So for them to come in and shut you down, they're cutting off the hand that's feeding them. You know, whereas in a nonprofit, the only way they can get their money is to come shut you down and seize your assets. Yeah. <laughs> so, exactly right. So, you know, so, you know, he was a, he was a huge advocate and, and listened and, and made a lot of these changes the way it should. I mean, I mean, our system isn't perfect yet, but looking at all these other states, I think that Nevada is the leader. Uh, in, in the country when it comes to setting this up and doing it right from the get-go mm. we're not we're not going back and trying to fix everything there's a few things we need to tweak and a few yeah. things we need to fix but it's compared to most of these states uh, our program is way leaps and bounds ahead of them already yeah. Yeah, so. at first uh, we were all concerned about the timing and mm-hmm. that the legislature was going to keep dragging their feet as they have for 16 years 
And the truth is, uh, it has been a little slow, but everything we've done and we've we've moved forward, mm -hmm. and we've accomplished a lot of things. And we've also educated them along the way to get them to improve the system and the law and the regulations, mm -hmm. even though the legislature is not necessarily in, in in legislative body now. There are mechanisms that we've learned to work behind the scenes to get some of these things fixed. And so, um, you know, we're real proud of that. And we hope that uh, you guys will <coughs> look up WeCan702.org and join us. You can join for free or you can make a little donation and you can get involved. And that really gives us a lot of power by having more members, more patients, more people out there that are willing to step mm -hmm. up and, uh, and make this a really good thing. Yeah, okay. and, and we, you know, all the MMEs are kind of behind what we do, and they're they're helping too. Like Las Vegas Relief, you guys pretty much kicked the city kicked the city into gear about the advertising. I mean, oh. the fact that everybody else all in the county can advertise on billboards, and the city was saying no billboards, <laughs> is I mean, it put you guys at an unfair advantage, and you guys kind of laid down the groundwork. And they just just last week, Bob Coffin and the city council voted, and now everybody in the city can have billboards right so right. i mean that kind of you know yeah. those kind of rules and regulations that they're passing are really kind of you know prohibitive yeah. to the businesses Shoot which isn't fair no yeah well you know it's uh it's definitely a collaborative process yeah. right it's, so yeah, it, as it, it, as and they know, have been listening at least they, they have, have been, been you know and so when, like for example with the billboards it was very obvious to yeah. the folks in the city well you have county dispensaries which are just south of sahara mm -hmm. and yeah, you have us exactly which is just across the <laughs> yeah. street north of sahara right. yet we have totally different advertising regulations and right, exactly. as you said right we don't want to bite the hand that's feeding us if we have a robust business mm. that means more tax dollars get to go to the state more services can be provided uh and we become that much more a, a member a legitimate member of the community right. and that's exactly what we want right. and and even though some of the regulations can be restricted restrictive um, ultimately I am a firm believer in regulation and mm -hmm. I think that if you if you juxtapose the way um, some of the, our neighboring states uh, regulate their industry versus the way Nevada does to Kurt's point we're not going back and saying oh I wish we had done this I think mm -hmm. we I think the state did take a, a little while to get mm -hmm. the ball rolling but the regulations we have in place I think are a very strong foundation um, mm -hmm. and I think it actually improves the overall uh, experience for patients. They get to come into our facility, know that everything's very regulated from seed to sale, yeah. know that they're in a safe mm. environment with safe, high quality lab tested cannabis. Right. And those are all the results of the of the kind of the boundaries and guidelines that regulations provide. Mm -hmm. Um, and so it's it's a learning process for everybody. Mm. Yeah. And a lot of you out there will be like, oh, yeah, I'm against regulation, that this is a plant, it's safe, it, it should just be available. That That's true, but the, the coal memo from the federal government says that if you don't have strict state regulations in place and that all these other things, that they will come in and they will shut you down. And that's what you see all over California. Right. So, yeah, exactly. That's what you see all over California. And, yeah. and frankly, that's the best juxtaposition. You have right. the Nevada model, which is more of a pharmaceutical model, where we're 100% HIPAA compliant, so no uh, sharing of personal information. Everything gets stored off-site at a right. secure server. Uh, we're regulated like a hospital or a pharmacy. California, that's not quite the way it operates, right. as anyone who's been in that <laughs> yeah. market knows. And plus, the... Uh, the pesticides and all the chemicals and things that can go into the products produced in Nevada are a lot less than in California. Exactly right. And that, that makes even more of a difference when you're dealing right. with concentrates. Right. Because when you have concentrates that are made with flour that had pesticides, well, guess what? That concentration process the, the, is not just concentrating the cannabis, it's concentrating the pesticides and the bad residuals that are right. in that medicine. Exactly. And so it, when you have these standards in place, these regulations, it ensures just a higher quality, cleaner product, a right. safer product. Yeah, I almost think nor, uh, uh, that our products are almost organic, you know, because mm. there's, they're really very pure and you to feel they're very clean tasting. Well, you know that uh, our partners over at Green Life Productions actually mm. just got certified uh, to call their products organic. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's really exciting, actually. Oh, I didn't know and that. We're very fantastic. proud to carry them Congratulations on our, to them on our shelves. And all of us. That is yeah. good news. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So, what else you got, Kurt? So you, <laughs> well, well, we got some, uh, got some more news here out of Nevada. 
Uh, county moves will establish marijuana heaven in Wausau County. Uh, <laughs> medical marijuana establishment authorized to cultivate or dispense marijuana products were authorized in 2013 by SB 374. They had uh, to be in unincorporated areas. In Wausau County's website, look up look up the MME map and you'll find almost every parcel in old Wausau County has been approved. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. We have, uh, they have several grow facilities and a proposed 6,500 square foot grow and dispensary building. So I know that sounds big, but we have bigger ones out here i mean what yeah. we had this last weekend reef dispensaries opened up and their dispensary is five thousand square feet wow. just the dispensary yeah, yeah. a lot yeah. a lot of space in there you know so yeah. um so yeah so you know wow. these things are popping up everywhere in the state yeah. now so they are too isn't that incredible yeah. it's so exciting yeah, yeah it is it is yeah, and as more of these cultivators come online the we're going to see pricing up. pricing drop and you'll see the market norm out a little bit yeah yeah there's there's some big big cultivators ready to go that's the cultivators and oh. the production was way behind the dispensaries, and, and that, that we knew was going to happen oh. because to open a dispensary, it's a heck of a lot cheaper than to open a grow because of the equipment mm. and, and you know, you know you have to have the drains and the, the, oh God, the yeah. lighting receptacles all have to be waterproofed and all the stupid things that they make you do in a grow um, out here. It's, it's crazy. And if yeah. you're, if you're, if you're going to be a production facility, even if you're not doing any edibles in that, you have to have a grease trap. Right. You have yeah. to have a grease trap, even if you're not going to be doing baking. Say you're just going to be blasting wax and, and stuff like that, and that's all you're going to do. You still have to have a grease trap. Right. Yeah. That's that's the county rules. So well, a lot know, of these, you know, a lot yeah. of a lot of these places weren't restaurants and and right. didn't serve right. food. So all these things exactly. had to be have to be put in, which is an right. extra expense and time. And some people don't know. Uh, we had we started out having to have our own product. And so we couldn't go to California or Amsterdam and get seeds and bring them back here. We had to actually get the product from the original patients or have it somehow and, um, and produce from that. So that really slowed the process down in the beginning because it, it can take up to four months to grow a short crop, a good short crop from beginning to end. And now they're using creative things with lighting and stuff like that to increase it, you know. But, uh, yeah, that kind of messes up for a while. But I think it's really paying off now. And I, what I really noticed, like at your dispensary, checking the prices, wow, they, are they dropping. Yeah. Because the market now is getting flooded with weed that's finally coming to harvest. Exactly. Mm. And that was one of the things that we heard a lot from patients when we first opened up was, hey, you know, the pricing's too high. Uh, and, and what we had to tell, we didn't really have any options, unfortunately. Right. Right. Uh, mm. When we opened our door, we only had one grower because there's only <laughs> one grower that yeah. was certified to do business in the city of Las Vegas. Yeah, it was funny. So there's been, some re there's been some incredible business challenges. And we try to, I mean, you know, the patients have to remember, we want to be able to offer whatever you want because we mm. want you to buy from us mm. right mm. Uh, we don't want you to go somewhere else so uh, the fact that we do now have these options we have all these exciting products there's so much more that's continuing to be developed it, it just makes it better for everybody mm. oh yeah and on the products end i mean i got a, i got a chance uh, a couple weekends ago to try the new the new trokies mm -hmm. oh yeah and and you know i'm i'm, I'm ex lozenges. yeah, yeah i'm, I'm very experienced in edibles and i can i can eat a 200 milligram uh candy bar without a problem and Dude. i i almost don't feel the effects barely even because i'm i use edibles on a daily basis for over five years now. Me out, bro. yeah I, I i i can edibles don't really affect, affect me oh as in God. you know don't get me that euphoric effect mm -hmm. they they help my pain they help my spasms but I'll tell you, I took 30 milligrams, one of those 120 milligram tro trochies, mm -hmm. and broke it into a quarter. And it was just the tiniest little thing. I mean, it was just so small. I put it between my cheek before it was dissolved. I was feeling the effects. And I, mm -hmm. and I was just like, wow, I haven't felt like this in a long time, especially off of an edible. So, I mean, it was, it was, to me, it was just incredible, and they worked really well. And they're, the price points are really good. You guys are carrying those, what are they, like $22, $23? Firm? No, we don't. We're not carrying any trophies just yet. You're not yet. carrying them yet. They're only, oh. they're only in the county. You will be okay. oh, yeah, in the exactly county. right. Oh, well, they'll be there soon. <laughs> I believe they're in the right now. So, yeah, those 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 were. I was very surprised on that. Yeah, so. and that's one thing I find about the dispensaries. I go to a variety of them. I have all their little plastic bags under my seat. Because <laughs> oh. you have to bring them back. Because <laughs> they have these Fort Knox bags, you know, you get you pay a buck for it. Usually the first one they give you free, and then you take them back and they refill them. And and once they seal that bag, it's like. They're, officer, I'm not getting into this. Yeah, <laughs> it's no locked. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I have to get home and 
open this sucker up, you know? But I think it's terrific. I think it's terrific, and the products are terrific, and the packaging is a little much. Yeah, uh, the pack, it, it should be an option, and that's something that we're going to work on in the next thing. I mean, they say they want it like a pharmacy, and I understand the childproof packaging if you have children, but you go to a pharmacy, and you're buying your Oxycontin or your lower tabs or any of your other you know, your opiates in there. Paper bag you you have an option. Sure. Yeah. To have right. child proof or non child proof, right. you know, because a lot, you know, like some of the times getting into these things, it's, yeah. it, it's a nightmare. You and as a patient, scissors, yeah. you might forget it, <laughs> exactly. you know, because you ain't ripping yeah. that. What, and, what if you're an elderly patient that has Alzheimer's or yeah. like serious yeah. al- uh, and, arthritis? Yeah. Yeah. Alzheimer's. Yeah. And you don't, I, I have Alzheimer's, misquoting this nonsense, arthritis <laughs> yeah. or uh, something like that that's to build a carpal tunnel, you know, mm-hmm. I it's, can go on and on. It's a problem that we see in our operation every single day. Unfortunately, it's, it's, it, we, there's nothing we can do. And I'm sure you get we, the calls. How do I open this? We get the calls. <laughs> what, we tell, what we'll always tell folks is that. That if you can't get into it, you cut it open with the scissors, and we'll give you a free one next time you come in. Don't worry about it. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. So, and with that, I think we're going to run into our second break. Be sure to check out our sponsors. Uh, they're the ones that make this program possible and help us help the patients. We have uh, Nevada Pure over on Boulder Highway. We have Essence Vegas. Uh, we have Las Vegas Relief. Uh, Las Vegas. Nevada Pure? Nevada Pure, we already got them. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Essence Vegas, yeah. uh, Sahara Wellness. Uh, the Sahara. girls over there at uh, Sahara Wellness are, are one of our sponsors over there. Yeah. Um, now Digipath Labs, check right. them out. You know, make sure that they're and making they sure we have quality tested medicine. Ago. So, yep, and uh, with that, we'll be back with some more news. Originating from Las Vegas, Nevada, you're listening to LV Rocks. Noise from Vegas. <laughs> Getting Legal offers an informative and simple way for you to get your marijuana card. Why come to Getting Legal to get your marijuana card? We have a 99% approval rating and the lowest price in town. Avoid legal problems. Getting Legal can get you legal fast. Ready for a new start? Come in now and get relief from your chronic conditions affecting your quality of life. Call Getting Legal today at 702-979-9999 at 702-979-9999 or visit our website at gettinglegal.com to get your marijuana card today. Hi, I'm Armin Yemenijan, CEO of Essence Dispensaries, and I'd like to let you know a little bit about our company. As a completely complimentary service, our on-site nurse is here to meet with any patient or non-patient to discuss dosing and best practices. We have three convenient locations. We have one location on Tropicana between Decatur and Jones, which is our west side location. Our Henderson location is on the corner of Sunset and Green Valley Parkway, and we're proud to announce that we have the first and only dispensary on the Las Vegas Strip, on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Sahara. Our prices are the lowest prices in town and the highest quality medicine please come and see us at one of our three convenient locations or visit us at essencevegas.com you can also call us at 702-978-7575 once again the number is 702-978-7575 attention medical marijuana patients do you know what your cannabis actually contains are there heavy metals pesticides or even mold and what strength is it really and is it really what you need Well, the answers to these questions are simple. Digipath Labs. Digipath Labs is a Nevada state-approved medical marijuana testing facility whose scientists carefully test products for safety and potency all within the state's rigorous mandate. You can buy with confidence and trust knowing Digipath Labs has tested your medicine. If you're a licensed grower, dispenser, extractor, or edibles manufacturer in Nevada and want unparalleled customer service and consumer confidence, go to digipathlabs.com and find out what we can do for you. And as a patient, only go to dispensaries that carry the Digipath Labs seal of approval. That's digipathlabs.com, D-I-G-I-P-A-T-H labs.com. Or call us at 702-209-2429. That's 702-209-2429. LV Rocks, noise from Vegas. Welcome back to Nevada Cannabis News. I'm Kurt Ducat, your host, and today we have uh, Perry Heichu, <laughs> William Beach Baker, and Jacob Silver Stein, Stein. Yeah, Stein. Stein from Las Vegas Relief and Silver State Wellness. So. So, yeah, sometimes we get a little tongue-tied with this yeah. medicine. And sometimes you get a little Alzheimer's. That's why they put my name on my shirt. <laughs> so you can always remember. Yeah, yeah, the names are pretty tough in this industry. I meet, I yeah, meet so yeah. many people every, every week. And oh, it's my tough, goodness so. gracious. So, yeah, we have another story here out of uh, Nevada. There's a state ballot measure on marijuana, guns, and 
get names. Uh, state officials have announced the official names of two ballot measures that Nevada voters will weigh in on in November. The Secretary of State's office said Monday that an initiative to require background checks on more gun sales and transfers will be called Question 1. And an effort to legalize and regulate recreational marijuana in Nevada will be called question number two. Mm, okay. So IP1 is going to be question, question two. two. Okay. So, okay. you know, those of you out there, uh, we are in support of IP1, even though we can is a... Well, so wait, as of today, we're in support of question two. Question two, yep, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean... That, that makes it kind of tricky because we've been saying IP1 for a we'll, year. We'll get the word out. Yeah, yeah but, exactly. you know, so question two. Yeah, question okay. two on the ballot is the I one that go we want. Two. Yes, yes on two. Yes on two. <laughs> yeah, yes on two. Um, so those of you that aren't familiar, question two is for responsible adult use in the state of Nevada. Right. They'll, they'll call it recreational. Here we can, we like to call it responsible adult use because this right. isn't a bunch of college kids sitting around smoking pot. This is right. adults. You know, most of college us are up in our 40s. No, Kurt, yeah. tell me this. They're doing that anyway. Yeah. Kurt, tell me this. <laughs> uh, why would uh, patients give a damn or even want to pass this kind of thing, legalization? Well, well number first reason is this, this uh, initiative does not affect our patient program whatsoever the patient program is going to remain 100 percent the same this uh, this uh, this allows any adult over the age of 21 in the state of nevada to use cannabis in the privacy of their own home or in, in a private venue not out in public mm -hmm. it allows them to purchase at the dispensary so that they can purchase safe medicine and they're not buying out on the street from some guy on the on the street corner mm -hmm. um it's basically taking something that everybody is already doing and making it legal so that we're not sending people to jail for smoking a little pot. Um, this is going to help our patients drastically because it's going to allow us in the medical program to really leverage the fact that every adult can use, already use it in this state. So as a patient, I should, I should get something for going through this program, jumping through all these hoops, getting this card, spending mm -hmm. this money. I have a doctor telling me I should use this. So if everybody can use it, what's my benefit? Um, we're, gives us more leverage yeah, in legislature. We're, we're, in legislature, we're going to go up there and we're going to leverage that some of the tax money from, from this initiative should go into the medical program so, so that we don't have to pay for our cards. You know, I got a doctor's exactly. recommendation. Only for marijuana do we have to pay the state for a license for the ability to see our doctor and get our medicine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and with the money coming in from, from the, you know, adult use bill, that money could go into paying for that whole program right. for the card so that we can yeah. get rid of that stupid patient program. We still get a card, but we don't have to pay for it. Right. You know, I mean, and then the fact is a lot of us patients, we've been growing. We grow, we grow our own medicine because for 14 years, that's what the state said we had to do. And there was, to do. We it. had no other way to obtain our medicine besides going to the black market. Right. There, there's some talk in the last bill that there's a sunset clause coming up that they want to remove our rights to grow. Um, the IP1 or question two allows every adult to grow six plants. So if every adult can grow six plants, do With you a think limit that of two adults per household, correct? Yeah. Well, no, it's yeah, limited to adults. Yeah, so, so a maximum of 12. Sorry. Yeah, so how if they come in and they say, as a patient, I'm not allowed to grow, yet everybody can grow. Yeah, I mean they're gonna. It, it's gonna make them look bad. They yeah. can't go <laughs> after patients. That just patients. sounds terrible. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. and it's it's kind of the same thing now. They're not. We haven't seen them going after patients like they did in the former year since the the medical marijuana establishments mm -hmm. opened. Um, the reason is they look really bad going after patients when mm -hmm. we got people out there running these illegal delivery services that are selling weed openly yeah. and, and and advertising it. You know what I mean? And and you if you're gonna go after a patient when that's happening, you're gonna look pretty bad i mean you're not going to mm. look good in the public eyes it's like why are you attacking them when this is happening yeah you know so uh, so yep. thanks for explaining that because that really does help us as patients to understand that look the bill may not be perfect you may not like everything about legalization but it's going to make it better for the patients because our law is a constitutional guarantee and so that's a higher law, actually, in, in Nevada statute. That is correct, sir. And so uh, if they get these rights, if, the, if recreational gets their rights, and all the citizens get the right to Medicaid and to uh, recreate and to grow some plants, then we will maintain ours and maybe even increase. Yeah, and then, as I say, we can, we can leverage some of that tax money and put it towards, I understand they want education. 
great, there's plenty of money for the education yeah. in this program, but some of it needs to go back into our medical program. Right. If people are gonna, if they're gonna be making extra money off this, off of everybody, us as patients really, mm -hmm. and, and we're gonna, we can, we're gonna be up in legislature and we're gonna be pushing for this. We're gonna be, you know, we're gonna be in everyone's ear, having meetings with them all saying, we want some of the tax money if this passes going towards us. Right, and that reminds me, we have a lot of workshops and a lot of different kinds of things, and we can 702.org, you can connect with us. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're, uh, we're all over. We have meetup uh, groups. Um, join us, and you can come to some of these legislative meetings. We, they simulcast them here in the city. Uh, mm -hmm. You can testify to the legislature. You can tell them how you feel. Um, you can join a workshop. If you don't want to be in, uh, in front of the mic or talk to the legislators, you can put down these issues, and we can take them to the legislature for you. So there's a lot of ways for you to be involved, and we want all of Las Vegas to join us in Nevada. And there's also another benefit uh, to the differentiation between the adult use market and the medical market. If we look at Colorado, for example, um, there's all sorts of products that are were developed in response to the needs of the medical patient community mm -hmm. that are totally separate from the adult use mm -hmm. community. And right. so in Colorado, uh, medical patients pay fewer taxes. Right. They have a wider availability of products to choose from, right. and they have more potent products to I've choose heard from. That. Right. Uh, in fact, in Colorado, there's, uh, I believe it's 200 or 250 milligram maximum on any adult use recreational edibles, whereas I believe um, medical patients can obtain uh, edibles that contain up to 500 milligrams. Right. Uh, what about, so, What about here in Nevada for that? Are there more strict regulations for you being in the city for the amount of THC you can have in your edibles? That's exactly correct, Perry. That's disappointing. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, in the city of Las Vegas, we are limited to 100 milligrams right. uh, per, per edible. So, right. And the interesting thing about that is that is really the Colorado recreational model. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's and, ridiculous. And that will change. We're going to change that. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, we gotta, so, we, folks, we it, it really does pay to be, get a license, be a legitimate, licensed, legal patient. If you have a disability that uh, fits the description, um, you can get a hold of us. We can hook you up with doctors and, mm -hmm. you know, let's and, get this and, thing. Uh, and when we say disability that fits the description, in the state of Nevada, we have a list of, of things that qualify you for a medical marijuana card. Um, of in those things, anything that causes severe pain or spasms mm -hmm. is included in that. I mean, severe pain, I used to have arthritis so bad I couldn't move my hands for a half an hour in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's severe pain. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, I mean, just about anybody over the age of 30 probably has a symptom that will qualify right. for the Nevada Medical Marijuana Program. Right. So, I mean, if, if you're interested in trying this and you're over the age of 30, there's probably something that a doctor will say, yes, this will work for you. For. And honestly, we get a tremendous number of former athletes yeah. that, oh, that come absolutely. into our facility. Uh, yeah. So, you know, young guys, young right. guys in their 20s who, mm -hmm. uh, you know, worked very hard in high school to try and make uh, Colorado, you know, try to make a college uh, ball and in one way or another fell short, but still have the scars from uh, from really treating their body like they were a professional athlete. And so it's just these types of solutions well, are really Sports key. medicine as a industry has mm. blown up in the past 20 or 30 years. Right. I mean, back when I was a little child, I never even really, it wasn't really a huge thing, and now sports medicine is huge. I would imagine this, these therapies, these alternative, I mean, what are perceived as alternative therapies mm. will become more prolific once again. Like we were talking earlier about Mr. Robinson, as more and more athletes start to come out of the cannabis, cannabis closet, as they say, to express their interest in seeking these therapies. I think that's absolutely correct. I think one of the more interesting areas that we're going to see that growth happen in is with CBD products, cannabidiol, right? Sure. So there's no THC in those products, mm -hmm. CBD only. Uh, so it's great for nerve pain, things like that. Uh, it's generally when you hear about any of these uh, children suffering from, uh, you know, hundreds of seizures in a day or in a month, uh, and then being cured essentially by by cannabis oil, they're generally using oils that are very high in CBD. Mm -hmm. uh, what we found, what we're finding. Um, is there's a whole host of former NFL players that are dealing with concussions um, that swear by cannabis and talk about it as a supplement to their uh, to their healing regimen. So I think you're absolutely right. As mm. as the stigma continues to drop and as a wider variety of products become more well known and more available, uh, I think that cannabis and sports medicine are going to absolutely grow together. Yeah, and it's, it, that's interesting. We uh, we had PTSD at it. And then, uh, you know, now New I got a story here from New Jersey. New Jersey's talking about adding 
mens they say menstrual cramps should be added to medical marijuana condition. Uh, Assemblyman T Tim Eustace has introduced legislation last Friday that would add the condition uh, of menstrual cramps to the approval of, of medical marijuana for the state of, of New Jersey. And because uh, it's a chronic condition and, it, and well. that if they used, uh, they could create products. And they actually tried this on quite a number of women, I guess. They've well. been testing it. And um, Queen Elizabeth well, there's used so to many use it for menstrual cramps. Be added. So that's I mean, the rumor. Yeah. it's just yeah. incredible, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, it's just, just to read stories like this, but uh, you know, it's just uh, the products are out there, the diseases are out there, the cancer patients, and and every other disease. And you know, the license o is only good for a year. No one's ever died from marijuana. For goodness' sake, you know. Let's use it for whatever. No, we I've seen a people, a few people yeah. fall asleep from it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe eat a little too much. No yeah. doubt. <laughs> yeah, a little woozy. So we're, we're running down here at the end of our show, so it's time for a couple of our announcements, uh, some of our events coming up. We have, uh, of course, this Saturday, our big uh, Emerald Garden Gala out in Boulder City. You can find out more information on that on our website, wecan702.org. Uh, then on Sunday, we have our growing classes, our Grow Nevada classes uh, over at our corporate offices. So if you're interested in that, go check it out and sign up on our website. Uh, on the 23rd, Saturday, uh, April 23rd, we have our patient support group out in Pahrump. Um, we hold two different patient support groups. We hold one out here in, in uh, Las Vegas on the second Saturday of every month. And then uh, we hold one out in Pahrump on the fourth Saturday of every month. Uh, this one here falling on the 23rd. Um, and that's out there at uh, Johnny's Mexican American Restaurant, yeah. which used to be the town diner. So mm -hmm. um, put on by a couple of our people there. That's actually grown really big. The crowds have been up to about 20, 25 people at each one of those meetings now. So. Yeah. Shout out to all you guys out in Pahrump out there. So, yeah. And then uh, Sunday, April 21st, we have uh, the first Sunday session at the new Cannabis Chapel opening on Las Vegas Boulevard oh, at yeah. 827 Las Vegas Boulevard. They're having a Sunday session that runs between 3 and 4 p.m. Um, April 20th. Everybody's doing something. <laughs> we right. have uh, Red Dragon Brothers throwing the Las Vegas Cannabis Championship in town. Um, I'm sure you guys got specials. I know there's a couple of grand openings for a few new dispensaries happening. Um, just too, too, too many to list. So. And, of course, all the fabulous specials in Las Vegas Relief. Yep, Las Vegas Relief having great specials. So go in there, buy your product, get your raffle tickets, and try to win that half ounce of Grape Stomper. No doubt. Hey. <laughs> So, uh, well, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for having uh, yeah. Las Vegas Relief and Silver State Wellness on the show. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank look up Las support. Vegas Relief and give them yep. some business. Yep, we and their, uh, their, their website is uh, L Las Vegas Relief, R E L E A F, relief.com. So, and, and uh, you can check out their whole menu on their Is it on your website? Yep, full yeah, menu's, on, whole the menu's on the website. Mm -hmm. As so. well as uh, contact, uh, contact info and our delivery uh, delivery and dispensary hours. Yeah, one thing I'll give you a tip is you want to sign up for their their texting because that way you, you find out about the little sales and all the promos and you and and I would do that with all the dispensaries, you know. Because they're very competitive. Oh yeah, I get I get about four <laughs> texts a day because I sign yeah. up for all of them, sure, so sure. I know what's up. And you have to admit they're pretty good. We'd also like to take the time to thank Las Vegas Rocks Radio yeah. for inviting us to LV spread Rocks, our, our new home, our, our yeah. new home at LV Rocks. Yeah, right? we're very very happy and to be DG here. And DG behind have a long, the board, long so we appreciate him and the invisible camera man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and yeah, yeah. So this is uh this has been fun. This is uh, our new station. We plan on being here for a while, and we hope that you become a regular listener. And next week, Paul Aisley with our political director Mike McCullough. Yep, here. yep, yep. Next week right. we have Paul Aisley on, so uh, we're going to have a politician in here. So give us a definitely tune in. Tune on in. So. LV Rocks, noise from Vegas. Nevada Cannabis News with Kurt Dukach, Perry Haichu, Michael McCullough, and William Beach Baker. Live Tuesdays from 3 to 4 p.m. Pacific Time on LVRocksRadio.com. Nevada Cannabis News features news about what is happening in the cannabis industry around the world. We feature guests such as politicians, police officers, medical marijuana establishment owners, industry experts, doctors, cannabis celebrities, community leaders, and more. 
Nevada Cannabis News will bring you up to date with everything going on in the cannabis industry. Contact us off the air at 1-844-WE-CAN-LV 